And we begin with Karrion Cross, who really has a new lease on life since his return to WWE. Fall and pray are the words of House Cross, and he didn't really get a chance to show what he could do the first time around. He has a lot to prove, and he is all about taking that aggression out on the biggest, meanest guy he can find. If that guy isn't here, he'll settle for whoever's in his way. Makes me glad I'm over here, not in there. And what about Xavier Woods, huh? Fueled by the power of positivity and an insatiable drive to always keep pushing through, to keep fighting. Woods' persistence is at least somewhat admirable when it's in the ring, I'll give you that, sack. No way! The dive! Absolutely throwing all caution to the wind. Spinning in the face of danger. Implanted by the DDT. Oh. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Oh, ruthless striking. Xavier Woods taking charge. Cross on the wrong side of every exchange. He returns to the ring. Ref still counting, close to calling it. Hurry back in. He beats the count, and this one continues. Landing on the spine. From your perspective, Corey, what's the X factor that Xavier Woods brings to this match that could help push him to victory? I'd have to go with Xavier's willingness to deliver a 200% effort in the ring. Woods doesn't have a single ounce of quit in him. He goes all out and fights for the win every time. If he shows that same level of commitment and resilience here tonight, victory could be his. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Into the barricade. Oh, God. He must have seen that coming.
let's look back at that amazing action. Here is your winner, Karrion Cross. A statement victory by this guy tonight. They really put in some back-breaking work for this victory. Wins in WWE rarely come easy, Saxton, but this one was tougher than most.